What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we're going to continue our solo campaign for Cloudspire. We're going on with Scenario 2 uh, of the Brawnen. Uh, if you haven't watched the first episode, go back and watch that. I will be spoiling the outcome of that episode now, so tune away if you don't want to hear that. Uh, and that is in a playlist at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. We also have a Player vs. Player, the regular mode of Cloudspire, on the channel. And we will have co-op coming soon. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you do not miss that. Thank you very much. For all those who've been watching our Cloudspire coverage, uh, we appreciate it. So let's get over to, first, we want to talk about Akarian Renown. So this is something special in Cloudspire uh, when you're playing solo. Uh, you get renown points for each objective you get, and uh, the spoiler is, in the last one, I got three. Uh, so I got all three objectives, each had a renown. So with that three renown, you can basically unlock achievements you can spend in future uh, scenarios that are within that faction's solo mode. So we got the brawn in here, I got three renown, so you can spend it to gain one of these cool powers, assuming you can afford it. You don't have to use it in the next scenario, and you can gain a whole bunch, save them up, and use a whole bunch in a scenario. But the downside is, if you use them in a scenario and you fail, you're not supposed to be able to use it again. Once it's used, it's used. So there are six abilities here you see on your screen for Brawnen. Uh, so that's the amount you can unlock, I guess. So let's say in the first one you got a max three renown, you could unlock, say, these first two. I could use one in the next scenario, save one for later, use both in the scenario, not use any and hold them on till later. I could save them all, try to get as many as I can to then use in like the last, the fourth scenario out of the four for Brawnen, I guess. Um, that's one thing to do. Um, the other cool thing is you track your renown and also find out at the end of solo how well you did. There's like a scoring chart kind of thing to see how, how good you are or whatever. Um, but this, using these abilities can help you carry forward and keep renown going is what the idea is, I guess. So I am going to spend three renown and I will purchase this uh, inside information. Once this scenario, when the event die would be rolled, do not roll it. So I'll show you why I picked that. I kind of looked ahead at the scenario, the setup, and this is one I think would best help in this situation. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below what you picked. Uh, if you had any renown, what did you use it on for this scenario? I'd like to see. I'd like to hear how, how it worked out for you guys. But that's what I'm going to purchase. And let's get into the setup here. So this is the Brawnen expansion uh, scenario two. Waves are five this time. So it's going to be a little longer one, I'm assuming. Opponents are the Grove Tenders. So also carrying over from the first episode is when I got that three renown or three objectives. Uh, that actually gives me uh, the number of pieces of research. I must collect the scenario is equal to the renown earned in scenario one. So I have to get three pieces of research for one of the objectives. I'll show you that shortly. Uh, research should be added in the order listed uh, with the research Diwin is carrying uh, being the first. So let's get on to the setup of this thing. Uh, so I set up the map already. Uh, what else? I got this. Uh, one of the spires I already set up, it, it didn't have any die rolling, so I'm going to do the other ones now because they involve uh, some die rolling here. So set up, uh, roll the d6 separately for spires, A, B, and C. Determine which upgrades are added to the bottom of each. So A uh, is down here already. I got the spires out. I just haven't rolled the die to put the, the chips underneath. So they're A, B, and C down here. It's a retall, a shrubbery, and a retall again. All right, so the shrubbery up here also, uh, they both have cover, so you have to be adjacent with a spire or a unit to even hit them. And the other two have air defense, so they can hit flying units. That's the idea there. Okay, so we're gonna roll a d6. Let's see what we get here. Uh, so it is a five, so that gets us uh, range, range, range on A. Uh, okay, interesting. So let's throw that on there. Okay, so it's the rolling two attack dice at four range away right now. That's gross. Uh, okay, uh, let's go for B, the shrubbery spire. Two, uh, so that is range, range, fortification. And that is here. Okay, and the last one, a one. So same thing, range, range. Uh, fortification only have four range chips left so you're limited by how many you have in the game so if uh, they keep stealing range somehow uh, I might run out and I might not be able to put it on my spires so I'm gonna have to get some of this gone and with the fortification on the bottom that might make it a little tough all right uh, so that's set up the next thing is uh, Diwin getting some research so I have the market chips here uh, let me just kind of shuffle them around for you and grab them up here I shuffle them ahead of time too, but uh, yeah, I'll just shuffle them here for you. Uh, so uh, let's just make a cut here. And Diwin, he's coming out here. Uh, he's got two attack, one, or sorry, two health, 
one attack, two movement, two range, can go on forest and below. Uh, but we're going to ignore some of that because he's going to get seven health to start, uh, which is gross. So seven health. He will be starting right here uh, by his fortress. And what do we say? He gets uh, one of these market research first and he gets an attack upgrade. Okay, so we'll throw that under there. So there's Diwin set up. That's their hero. He's like our boss of this scenario. <laughs> and uh, then we do a research on F, which is up here, and a research down here. Uh, and we'll take this and throw it to the side for now, but we'll get our market set up in a second. Uh, okay, what else do we got? That I think is everything there. Uh, so before we go on, let's just set up our landmarks here. Uh, so for landmarks, we got these swamps. Let's just uh, shuffle these up and let's cut there and we'll put one here and we'll put one here and then we got to shuffle these in here. Uh, so I will uh, got to look this way and just pick a bunch up in whatever order. Uh, I'll just get the rest here. Wish I had a uh, chip shuffler. Uh, so let's just look away and I'll just kind of make a mess, of course. All right, whatever. I'll just do a cut here. I hate shuffling these things. Okay, so that's the cut. We get a swamp on top. Uh, so let's fill it from top uh, to bottom. Uh, I think is the best way uh, down here. Yeah, down here. And is that all? Oh, I missed one right here, right here. Okay, uh, I don't see any others. Uh, just make sure, that would suck if I totally missed one. Okay, uh, that's good, I'll throw the landmarks to the side. We're good with those. Um, now what else, the market. Market, market, we already shuffled that up. Uh, let's get our tile here. Uh, what do we get? Uh, Spire two waters are the top piece. Oh, interestingly, uh, it actually is set up with a bunch of these earthscapes. So we only have two, uh, two in the market pile uh, here, which is crazy. Um, so that's all we got. So that's on the top. Uh, let's get three items because we have two fortresses. So the first market is a mini harvester with reap, uh, two source. Let's see here. I can bring this up to the camera, uh, two source. And what you do is once per wave, basically if you're beside a, uh, if you're beside a uh, source well, you, and even if it's occupied, you can roll a D6 and you get uh, the source that gets rolled on the D6. So that's cool to throw on a hero to help get some more source generated. Uh, we got a bunker, which is just three fortifications, three source on a spire. Uh, interesting. And a slingshot, another spire. Uh, one attack, two range, air defense tower, two source to purchase this one. That's actually pretty cheap. Uh, one source for the opponent if they destroy it. I might actually purchase that one. That one is nice. Uh, okay. So that's the market set up. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, so I think we got everything else here. I got all the tiles set up. Uh, 10 health, 10 health on the both fortresses. Um, anything else? I don't see anything else. Okay, let's move on to the objectives. So the objectives. Number one, defeat three spires in the Grove Tender Outpost. Grove Tender Outpost is these three spires down here we set up. Uh, that we're rolling die on to determine what's underneath them. Uh, and Brawn and Mark immediately becomes the Grove Tender Fortress Gate uh, once all three are destroyed. Okay, Construct three Brawn and Spires where the Grove Tender Outpost stood and keep them from being defeated until the end of wave. Should be five. This is actually a typo uh, in the FAQ at chiptheorygames.com or chip theory, yeah, chip theory website forward slash support. I think it's chiptheorygames.com forward slash support. You can find the FAQ there for Cloud Spire. Go check that out. Uh, they're constantly throwing stuff in there. I've been looking lately. Uh, so lots of stuff getting updated as people are getting a hold of this game and trying it out. Um, and the other thing is collect all pieces of research and return them to the Brawn and Fortress. Okay, so we'll find out how that all works in a second. Scenario win or loss. Uh, so we win if we complete at least one of those three objectives. And the loss is if the Brawn and Fortress gate is defeated or if any of the Brawn and spires that are built where the Grove Tender Outpost spires stood are defeated. So any new spires I built in these three hexes are, are get destroyed, I'm done. So I gotta be careful there. Brawn and minions. Uh, so their mark actually is the furthest spire of the Grove Tender Outpost. So currently how it's laid out, uh, they're gonna move down here. And at this one here, the retail right now is their mark. Cram the Mighty may not be used. So I took him out of my little uh, barracks here. So we're not even gonna be able to use that hero. That kind of sucks. He'd probably be really good in this scenario. Um, before moving, a friendly hero may pick up a piece of research from an adjacent hex, place it under the hero's chip. 
A hero carrying research will drop it on their hex if they're defeated. Uh, units may occupy the same hex as a piece of research. Heroes may not pick up a piece of research if another unit occupies the same hex as it, or if they are already carrying research. You can only carry one research uh, per hero until he gets back to the fortress, leaves the board, heals up, just like their normal ability when they get on the fortress gate. Uh, then they'll kind of drop off the research uh, and then come back out the next wave. So we can't leave it till wave five to deal with that because I'll only be able to have two heroes out anyway. Uh, so I won't be able to get all three pieces back. So I have to get at least one piece back before wave five or else I have no chance of getting that objective. Uh, scenario ends immediately if the Grove Tender Fortress Gate is defeated. So if I guess it gets defeated and I haven't got all three research back or all three of these spires defeated, uh, I lose because then I have no objectives done. So I got to try to get one of those done before that gets defeated. If it gets defeated, we'll see. <laughs> it's tough to do that, right? Especially with Diwin sitting here with seven health and attacking for two right now at two range. Uh, all right, so Grove Tenders. They do not play, place purchase Earthscapes, so they will be buying Earthscapes. That's something important. We'll talk about that in a sec. Diwin will not move or attack until provoked. This is important. He's going to sit here on this space, not moving or attacking until provoked. She is provoked when an opposing unit steps onto aisle seven. So that is this aisle here, this uh, uh, this one, uh, the big big one right beside their fortress. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so once provoked though, Daiwan then remains so for the remainder of the scenario. So my understanding is I should be able to attack it. Uh, did I already? Oh, maybe I double landmarked here. I just noticed. Maybe I put a landmark there and it slipped off, and that's why one was open. Uh, I'll just get rid of this one. Interesting. Yeah, so there's no no spire there. Yeah, I must have accidentally went to put it here and put it on the next one and then realized one was open. Or I moved it, and then, yeah. I don't know what I did there. I was being dumb, obviously. Uh, but that looked out of place, yeah, because I didn't think there was two here uh, when I was looking at it earlier. All right. Um, Diwin's Mark. Closest brawn in unit, staying at least two hexes away to attack within range. So I assume if it gets more range, it'll stay further away if it can attack. It won't move, basically. Uh, leveling, it'll get an attack upgrade if the last upgrade was ranged. Otherwise, range upgrade, ignoring upgrade restrictions. So my understanding is since it has an attack right now, the next upgrade it'll get is range. And then if it range was the last one, then it'll get an attack and keep rotating. Uh, so that's the last upgrade it got, or last uh, leveling. Leveling attack if last upgrade is ranged. So no, the last upgrade it has is a, a, an attack. So we'll do range next. Grove Tender Minions. Uh, their initial mark is the opposing fortress gate right here. Uh, when Brawn and Spire is constructed where the Grove Header, Tender outpost stood, the Grove Tender Minions will immediately switch their mark to the furthest spire constructed there. So once I build my own in here, uh, they're gonna switch from my fortress gate and start coming down this way. All right. Now the AI talent triggers, I'm not gonna go over those. We'll deal with them as they come up. We'll reference them and see how they come into play. Some of these listed here are for when and if the uh, Grove Tenders, I assume, purchase Mercs. Because you'll see here, I was looking ahead at some of the waves and uh, they try to purchase stuff in the market phase. So event die results, and this goes back to that Arcarian Renown little achievement I unlocked and, and purchased and I'm gonna use here. Uh, so we'll roll this event die on a one or two. Uh, we don't roll in the first wave though, just all the others after five. Uh, so you remove the bottom upgrade from a Brawn Inspire and a Grove Tender Spire of your choice. So that could help us get rid of some of these fortifications if we're having trouble getting through them, assuming that gets rolled, but it also will hurt our Spires if we have any built at the time. Uh, three to four on the die roll is an attack, add an attack upgrade to die win, ignoring upgrade restrictions. So obviously if we go to add attack, but his last one was ranged or whatever, it'll, you know, it, it's attack, but if it was attack, then it'll become ranged. And then five or six, you place a landmark on all source wells. This is the key one here. This is why I purchased that uh, achievement with my Renown. If we, my fear is, if one of these or two or three of these outpost spires get busted up and they're open and I haven't got a chance to build there yet, let's say I use my two limited uh, build options or I don't have enough Renown, or uh, source, sorry, source, uh, I won't be able to build on an open source well if this hits in the next wave and then they get covered with landmarks and those landmarks can be annoying it could be uh it could be a minion that's hard to beat uh it could be uh one of those portals and then i have to use six source to use the overload ability and i've had that when we're playing pvp or co-op before uh it's yeah they can be a pain in the butt um trying to get them off there some some just get stuck there for the rest of the game including uh there's a Lost Passage, a Secret Passage 1 or whatever it's called, Lost Cavern or something like that, 
uh, that basically switches with another landmark. So if that happens and you're switching landmarks with an adjacent one and then you have to come and get the other one. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. I just don't want to get something stuck on there. So I took that so that I can stop that event die from rolling. And worst case, it may stop from hurting one of my spires or stop from getting die when an upgrade. So that's, I mean, I'll, I'll see if it, it matters. It may suck. I may have used it for no reason and lose it. But I, I worry that I might, you know, destroy one of these towers and then it gets covered with landmark, maybe two, and leave them open and I don't get to build and then I, they get both get covered. And that could set me back trying to get down there uh, in time to get them cleared again and build my spires. So I don't want to do that. All right. Uh, I think we're all good for setup. Uh, I think we're ready to go here. Yes, I got my Forsaken Die set up. Uh, that's that. Uh, so event phase, nothing happens. Um, then in the income phase, where we have uh, five source. So let's get that five source going. Okay. Uh, then on to market phase, <laughs> Grove Tenders actually purchase an Earthscape. Uh, and I want to talk about, so if you look down below in the market phase here, Grove Tenders in wave three, they'll try to purchase a Merc Hero, Merc Minion, or an Earthscape. So if we want to get this last Earthscape, we need to do it before that happens because they do go first in the third wave. So if there's no hero or minion here, which there is not actually, uh, they would purchase this last Earthscape. So I might want to get that. And I was looking at the map and I might want to get that to connect this area to kind of make a way to come down here. Or the other thing is up here, this Spire. Attacks for two dice rolling and it's at three range. So I get worried uh, my minions aren't gonna go up there, but a hero going up there probably gets shredded. Uh, so I might have to build one of these next to it and then maybe pop a spire on it somehow, but it would have to be adjacent to this. So I don't know if I, I would even have influence there. So that research might be lost, that's the problem. Uh, so I don't know what to do with that. But anyways, uh, either way, this is gonna be purchased by the Grove Tenders, so they got it. Jerks. Uh, all right, so do I want to purchase anything from the market? I could buy this harvester or this air defense. I think I'm gonna spend two actually on this sling. Uh, or do I want to leave this here like this so they can't purchase a minion later? Maybe I just do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it actually. I'll leave it. That may help us here. Um, but that's not to wave three and I might get tempted to purchase one of these before that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, do I do it? That's a cheaper, uh, spire than I can build. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's purchase it. Let's get risky. Uh, so we'll go down to three source, take the slingshot. I'll store it here. I can't build it anywhere right now. Uh, I mean, I could, I guess, build it in my... Build it into my um, uh, fortress on my one of my spires, uh, or source well, sorry. Okay, uh, that's the build, or that's the market phase. Onto the build phase, um, and in the build phase, there's nothing funny going on. But what I will do is spend my last three source. I'm gonna get the source drill upgrade. So in future waves uh, or future rounds, in the income phases, I'll get three additional source. So next round, for example, you see seven source there, I'll actually get 10. So I'm kind of like investing uh, into the future and hopefully it'll pay off over the long run, assuming I can survive that long. Uh, so we'll see here. So I spent all my source, done. Uh, on to the prep phase. So let's set up them. Uh, we got two tap roots, uh, regular. And they have two range, uh, attacking for one, moving for two, three health, and summon. And how the summon works is uh, in this scenario, if we go back up here. Uh, so summon, uh, let's read the regular summon. So may only be uh, performed by an, uh, an ungrouped unit. Instead of moving, you may spend X source to create, okay, we ignore all that. Uh, flip the tap root and group it under the summon unit in the same hex. If performed by a hero, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what's gonna happen is, uh, you see on the screen here, summon, uh, yep. Triggers immediately if this unit is reduced to exactly one health. Prep phase will outline which unit to summon. If the unit summoned is unavailable, the next available unit is uh, unit. Use the next available unit in this list. So, for example, if we're trying to summon a grizzled oak, we didn't have it. We go for an ogre growth. 
uh, so then a treed, vine herald, and a warbriar. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, so summon, you've got these three guys out here, or two guys, three health, two tap roots, and they'll be summoning warbriars uh, this round, as you can see here, uh, promoted warbriars actually, since they have the asterisk beside them. Uh, all right, so my five CP, I'm thinking Battleborn and Dispatch, my standards for starting with five CP. Uh, all Osh will also come out, my hero, uh, for three. And he's gonna come out as a non-promoted side there. Okay, and or I go an Aegis Armored, moving for two. Or Dispatch and Battleborn. Hmm. Armored would help against these guys because they don't really, uh, they only hit for one and then he retaliates for two. So I might do that. Um, it'll also help him maybe get closer to these towers, but I doubt that. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm gonna just do that for my force source. I'll throw him in front, I think. Yeah, I'll throw him in front. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do that. So let's get to the table here and start it off. Grove tenders are going first. Uh, so they will just move here. One, two, and one. All right, so they are done there. And then next, uh, no spires, no attacking, I'll go. So Aegis will go one, two, I'll go one. And this here, uh, I'll explore this uh, swamp here with Osh and I'll see what we get. Uh, Grail Wasps with Relentless. I'll, I'll flip them, they're only two health. But when they counterattack, uh, they will keep rolling die and adding up the total over and over again until they roll a blank or a crit and they will add that crit to the attack. So let's say they roll two ones, they'll attack for two and let's say they rolled a crit, that would stop the roll and then they'd hit four back. So they're only two health, so what I'm gonna do is use Osh to smash them hopefully. Um, yeah, he'll attack with one and then his hunter ability gets an extra damage on uh, them. So I will use the Aegis to actually explore under this one. And a Source Geyser, it's a fountain uh, do I want to reveal that now? No, I don't think so. Um, how that works, uh, let's see if I can bring that up here. Uh, landmark talents. So how that works is fountain, once revealed, all adjacent units may recover two health at the start of each new round. Discard this landmark at the end of the current wave. Doesn't seem useful right now, but if I'm having trouble here with my units and, and whatever getting pelted, might help. So let's leave that where it's at, unless I need to clear it off for some reason. Um, to build there, but I wouldn't be able to build there. It'd be stay for the wave. Do I bother? Or do I save it for next wave? It's the start of each round. Uh, all adjacent units recover two health at the start of each round. Hmm. Yeah, I'll save that maybe for another wave. All right. So I'm going to attack here with Osh. Uh, I guess either or would kill, but I'll do it with Osh, of course. Uh, so I get three source. One up to three. Kill the Grail Wasps. And that is gone there. And that will get me a uh, level up, which I will take. I'll take an attack. So he's got his attack upgrade. He's hitting for two. Perfect. All right. That's my turn. Uh, on to them. One, two, one, two. Okay. Uh, no spires to fire. Not within range. Done. Uh, my turn. One, two. I mean, I can go here or here. I think I'll go here. Try to slow these guys down a little bit. Um, and uh, I will move down here, I think. No, maybe I'll keep him back here for now. Um, I'm worried about them choosing him to shoot because they'll do damage to a hero before they do damage to a faction minion. So I'll leave Aegis up there, poor guy. Um, to take a beating a little bit. All right, uh, so that's me, attacks, uh, nothing can happen. 
So they will do their turn. Uh, no spires to fire, obviously. Uh, so one, two. And let's go one, two. Uh, no spires to fire. So they are out of range of everything else. They're just going to attack this guy. So he'll only retaliate once. Oh, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> Warbriar time. Uh, so he'll, he'll hit here. Armored will block, uh, but then smack back for two. And that guy goes down to exactly one health. So he flips. And we summon a Warbriar promoted. And that will come out at four health. Grouped under it is the Taproot, who is promoted. He's gotten pale, so when he moves, any hexes, and when he's done his movement, any opposing units he's adjacent to, he'll deal, he'll impale them for one damage, basically. That's what Warbriars do. All right, so then this guy will attack, but uh, armored blocks and no retaliate, because he already retaliated. All right, my turn. Um, hmm. So he just is kind of blocked. I mean, I could move him. And that frees up this guy to roam. Uh, let's bring... So Warbriar will move two. I don't want him to impale this guy yet. Hmm. But he will impale him if he's there. But then he can attack. I think he'll stay here. Ah, oh, it's tough. These guys are, are trouble, man. Or should on my turn I, I build? I think I should build the slingshot. Right here. I think so. Let's do it. So we'll do a limited build action. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so one attack, two range. We're going to throw this actually out at the start of my turn. All right. So now on to movement. Hmm. So we'll move. Spires will fire. Uh, so let's try to protect the spire, actually. Let's go here. Let's get a little risky. I think. Just trying to think here. So this guy will come up and impale next turn. He'll hit both these guys before Spires leave and fire. So I'm wondering if I should just chill back for now. Oh, yeah, I think Osh will chill. And this guy will stay here. Yeah, he's going to get impaled next turn, and there's nothing I can do. I can attack this guy, actually, but then he'll flip and turn into another one. But he has to attack, right? Or maybe I do move forward. And at the start of each oh, fountain, I'm thinking about the fountain, once revealed, all adjacent units may recover two at the start of each new round. Hmm. So if I flip it, I won't get it till next turn, but I could heal this guy and keep him going. Yeah, Aegis will attack here. Warbriar for two. Get hit back for two. Okay. On the retaliate, uh, so that works. Uh, Hunter or my Osh will just stay up there. All right, there we go. Uh, Warbriar gonna move. Uh, he'll impale, uh, killing Aegis, fortunately. <laughs> uh, and then this guy will move one. All right, uh, so Spires will fire. Uh, let's roll on the Warbriar. Get him for one. Then the Warbriar will 
attack this spire. And this guy will attack the spire. So that's not good, but it's what's happening. All right, my turn. Uh, let's go up here. I'm going to attack the war briar uh, and kill him. And it just leaves this little tapper here. I get a source for that. Uh, actually, should I start my phase? I do a limited build option. Yeah, I think I should. Let's try to keep this tower alive. Uh, so I'll spend two. And I'll throw a range. Hmm. Fortification upgrade, maybe? Or range. No, let's do a range. Okay. Uh, to keep it alive, basically. Uh, all right. So he attacked, did that. All right, my turn's done. Oh, Ash uh, gets promoted actually. Probably gets an upgrade or level up, loses the upgrades. So now he's hitting for two, which is nice. Um, their turn. Uh, this guy's blocked. Uh, this guy can't get in. Spires will fire. Uh, let's fire them on. Uh, okay, if I hit this guy, he turns into a pig. That might not be bad. But otherwise, I'll be taking uh, two shots here. Uh, yeah, it'll go for a hero before a spire in that case. So let's actually just fire on this one here and hopefully kill it. No, miss. Ah, come on. Killing me. Uh, all right. So then he'll attack here, uh, hit my hero, and my hero will retaliate. Done. And then I get an upgrade for that. Let's go health or fortification. I get two source going up to four for killing the tap root. Uh, all right, then this guy will fire. He'll take away that fortification and doesn't get retaliated on. All right, my turn. Uh, let's go one. Uh, I could stay there and just heal up one or I can move forward and try to explore. If I stay there, and this guy moves forward, Spires will fire. I'll get attacked for one, but then I'll hit back for two, and I should be able to take him out. So let's stay there. Uh, I won't move, no Spires, won't attack. I'll take one heal from Survival, my ability there I got when I got promoted, and I'll heal up to full. They'll go, he'll move one here, Spires will fire, hopefully hit for just one. Nothing, wow. All right, uh, then it will attack. Uh, it's going to hit me for one. I hit it back for two. And of course, this kind of bones me here. Uh, I will go, uh, he'll flip, and then we'll get three more health out here. And we got a Warbriar summoned. Promoted one with Impale. So that's bad. Okay. My turn. How do we do this? Um, hmm. If I move back, he still moves up. But he'll go after my fortress gate in that case, but he'll hit for two. Am I okay with that? He'd hit for two. Maybe the spires would hit him uh, and take him down so that I can finish him off. So do I take two on my fortress gate just so I don't lose my hero? Otherwise I stay here, I, my hero will hit and then he'll die getting retaliated on. So Osh is actually gonna run back here and stay there. They'll go, uh, one, two, he'll do the impale business, taking Osh down to one. Uh, he'll then prioritize my fortress gate first before a hero he can defeat. So he hits for two, goes down to eight. And it retaliates for one. Oh, spires will fire first. Spires, spires first. Spires first. Okay. Spires will fire. Uh, shooting for one. Come on. Really? Another blank? This die sucks. I'm switching. Okay. 
So yeah, he'll get retaliated on from the base. Does damage to the base. Wow, Spire's useless. Um, and then... Yeah, he won't be moving, so I don't have to worry about getting impaled some more. Uh, but I can't attack him with Osh. So Osh will pass. Not going to move. He'll get the heal up to two. And then these guys will go move. Uh, Spires will fire. Let's get a different die here. It's a two. Sweet. That's good. Almost makes up for those misses. Not really, but... Uh, okay, gets him down to one left. Uh, he will then attack the base down to six. This is unfortunate. Uh, and retaliate against for one. Uh, I get a source out of this deal. And we get rid of the Warbriar. And a little one health promoted taproot sitting here. Uh, that I will just, on my turn, uh, I will finish off here. I'll hit it. No counterattack. Taproot's gone. Uh, two source going up to seven. Uh, and I'll get a promotion here of a health. Or fortification, sorry. And that is the wave. Wow. That was a little gross. All right. So let's see here. Okay. So on to wave two. Um, interesting. So we'll get rid of these little uh, limited build option pegs. We'll roll the event die. We're okay with it here, I guess. It's a six. And the six was... Place a landmark on all source wells. So there's uh, any? None, because I covered up the one that was here, right? Yeah, so we're good. Doesn't really do anything. Nice, so he doesn't get an upgrade and my tower doesn't get hit. I wish kind of maybe that'd be all right because their towers would get hit, but you know. All right, so that's done. Seven source, but I'll actually get 10 because that source drill upgrade I had earlier. So I'm going up to 17. Perfect. All right, market phase. Uh, oh, we forgot to flip this last time. And we forgot to refill the market. Oh, it's another tower, actually. Plaguebringer. Uh, one attack, one fortification as poison. Poison. Uh, what is poison? Where is poison? Right here. Uh, a successful attack or retaliation that would remove health from a unit instead removes half its existing health rounded down. Hmm. Well, that would be juicy on this dude. Interesting. We'll leave that there and we'll think about that in the future. But that might be nice to put on a spire up here somewhere that might deal with Dai when, uh, when he eventually becomes a problem. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, so market phase though, I will uh, purchase this because I may need to use this and I don't want them purchasing it in the next wave. So I'm going to spend two source going down to 15 just to purchase that. I don't think I'll use it yet, though. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. It's just the range on this thing. Only two attack dice. So much range. Uh, if I built it here like I want to, somewhere like this maybe, so that possibly if this landmark goes away, uh, I might be able to come through here with my heroes because they go over forest. Uh, I could build a spire here to start attacking this one. But right now, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four range. It can already hit up to there. That isn't crazy. That's crazy. So in the meantime, uh, hmm. I don't think we're going to do that right now. Don't think so. No, nope. we'll just store it. Uh, so build phase. Uh, so I have 15 left. Uh, I am going to get Smelter, uh, which basically uh, is down here. Uh, Brawn and Steel, Siege Tower, and Lance Launcher Spires can now be constructed. So I'll put a peg in there, spend six, going down to nine. Okay. Uh, and that will allow me to build those towers uh, going forward. They're a little expensive, but I think I need them to start shooting these towers with the raise ability on the Siege Towers. Uh, anything else I want to do? Do I want to upgrade any units? Architects. 
He just, no, I think I'm going to stay there. Uh, I can't build any things out there, so I'll sit with nine source. And I'll go to uh, wave to seven CP. So let's set up the tap roots on the other side. They get three, uh, non-promoted side. Okay, tap roots, tap roots. So this is going to be a little extra annoying. As we saw last time turning into Warbriars, it's like having extra, it's like they're coming out grouped with like uh, six units total kind of with these losers. Uh, so let's make sure this guy's on the right side. And this guy here, I'll have three health all piled up there. That's it. They summon Warbriars again who are promoted. So that's uh, not fun. Uh, now with my 7 CP. Hmm. Aegis and a Dispatch. My hero Drang already? Oh. I like Drang, but I don't think yet. Let's do Aegis and a Dispatch. Uh, so we'll put Aegis up front. So we can take a little bit of the beating. Uh, and then we'll put a Dispatch. Three health behind it. And pile them up to the gates. All right, I'm first player this time. So let's get down the table and do this. Uh, start of my turn, no limited build options, we're good. So let's go one, two, uh, one. Do I flip this up now and use it now? I don't know. I don't think so. Because I don't want to be healing their guys. So I think I'm okay. Yep, I guess Oshel's chill there. Uh, all right. So then uh, Spires will fire. Attacks, nothing to attack. He'll just take a survival heal up to his three total health. Uh, all right, they will go. One, two, uh, one, and stay at the gate. They're done. Uh, I will go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, uh, let's explore here. No spires to fire. Uh, it's a Grail Vipers. Okay, let's uh, give them their three health. They have Relentless. Uh, if I defeat them, I get a Relic card. Uh, they don't counterattack. Oh, they do counterattack with Relentless, where they keep rolling the die like I was talking about before. And uh, they'll do a big bad attack, maybe. Maybe they whiff and roll a blank on the first one. Don't want to risk it on my Aegis. Uh, but I will attack. Let's do two range. I'll hit this guy for one. No counterattack. He doesn't have range. Uh, so Dispatch helping out there. Then the Armored uh, from, or sorry, the Aegis will finish him off. For two and I will get a relic card and that source will open no source off that one so he's gone uh, relic card what do we get fortress portal uh, this is single use at the end of your turn during the, the onslaught phase return a hero to its fortress that hero may be deployed again this wave oh wow end of my turn during the onslaught phase so a hero has to be alive at the end of my turn, I can pop back to the fortress, they get healed up, and then I can just start them out of the fortress gate right after. So I'm going to just keep that here face up, and like kind of open hand. I'm not using it right now, um, but we'll hold that for safekeeping. Uh, so that's done. Uh, I've attacked with everyone onto their turn. One, two, uh, one, two, and one, two. All right. Uh, range two, nothing. Spires firing, nope. And now, uh, hmm, my turn. So this guy is going to carry on. One, two, one, two. And let's go. Ooh. One, two. All right. Okay. Uh, expires, nah, ooh, one, two, three. Yeah, this one definitely can hit there. One, two, three. Okay, so just this one. Rolling one attack down on the armored. Uh, blank, sweet. Okay, so the enemy rolls blanks too, awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, miss, doesn't hit. Uh, there's none others that can hit me. Uh, remember range on this one, we count range around the, the open space. Uh, so we count hexes that way. So this one, even though it's four range, it's only going one, two, three. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can roll on him. Wow. Uh, so it'll roll two die. Uh, that's two. So one gets blocked from armored. One gets through. 
Okay. Uh, explore time. I will explore this one here. Oh, tracks are Hellion uh, with engage. So we have to do this. Bad news, bad news. Uh, if you beat it though, you get no source. You actually get a tower, it looks like. Yeah, a tower. You get to put a tower there. And I believe uh, you ignore upgrade restrictions and influence. Uh, sorry, you ignore influence and cost uh, when doing that one, if I remember correctly. So six health, tracks are Hellion, engage, that sucks. Uh, that means they have to engage with it too um, if they're in range of it to attack. Uh, so hopefully they don't kill it and get to build a spire there. Ooh, rough. Okay, so it is attack time. Let's go. Uh, the dispatch will attack first. Hit for one. Uh, it'll retaliate for one. Then the Aegis will hit it for two. And it doesn't retaliate because it already has. Uh... Okay, that is that. I need to get my hunter over there uh, to fight that thing. All right, my turn's done. Uh, don't need to return my hero. So now these guys will move. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, spires, one, two. So this air defense one will shoot there. Uh, blank, wow, so many blanks. Um, I think I need to get a die tray going out here. Where do I have one? Nope, I don't have one nearby. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no other spires to fire. Uh, the engaged guy, though. <laughs> They're actually going to kill it. So uh, let's do this guy first. Uh, he'll attack and counterattack for one. Okay. Uh, this guy will attack, and this guy will attack. So that destroys him. All right, so just found out here in this forum post, AI never gets rewards for defeats. Source, relics, or spires are not granted by the AI faction. The only thing they just get is that the AI heroes get to level up for being responsible for defeat. Unless otherwise stated by the scenario, AI heroes always take an attack upgrade and never flip to their promoted side. Okay, good to know. All right, so they don't get a tower. Whew. Close. All right. But they get rid of that Trackstar minion for me, which I would have liked to finish off, but that's okay. They don't attack me too. So that's actually pretty good. All right. Uh, so that was their turn. Done. My turn. So one, two, three, four. Uh, and then my hero. He moves there. Let's say they go one, two. Eh, I don't want to leave them back. Yeah. So I'll move my hero here. Uh, Spires will fire. And let's see here. They want to. Um, let's go. Uh, let's do the armored guy uh, getting the one die here. Uh, so it's a one. It gets blocked. Oh, actually, no. It has to shoot on this guy. So the one would hit him because it could defeat him with a full die roll, right? Uh, now this one, uh, rolling two dice, I'll actually target the Aegis. Uh, so one gets blocked, one gets through. And then the second tower will also target the Aegis, uh, which definitely destroys him. Hitting for three. And that's bad. All right. Uh, explore. Thorax, Toxic Secretion. Sure, let's do it. Or do I leave it face down and deal with this guy coming in for it? But I don't want him down there yet. Takes five. Okay, we'll set it up. Uh, he'll attack. I mean, I can't get through this fortification here, so he'll just attack this. No retaliate. Takes it down to four. Okay. It's only affecting this hex here adjacent to him, really, so it, he won't get hit moving out. But, I mean, he'll get shot down by the spires, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, so that's my turn done. Oh, sorry. This guy will attack up here. He'll just take out this taproot. 
Uh, it's gone. Getting to source. Uh, one, two. All right. Done my turn. Okay. So next, they'll go. Uh, one, two. One, two. Uh, this one, uh, Spire will fire. Do I do that on him, though? No, let's do it on this one. Yes. Let's do it on this one. Uh, it's a one. Perfect. Okay. Gets him down to that magical two. Uh, now they'll fire. So this guy will fire at the fortress base. Takes away one. Gets retaliated back. Takes him down to two. Perfect. Uh, this guy will fire on... Can't damage the hero because he has a fortification. Uh, then a spire it can damage. So that's this one. So it'll damage my spire. Unfortunately. All right. My turn. Let's move this guy. One, two. Oh, sorry. Limited build options. Let's do this now. Uh, so one limited build option. And I think we're going to do, should we do the six? Go down to five. If I did that right. Uh, for an attack, two range on a siege tower. Throw that right there. Okay. Uh, looks good. Looks good. All right. So next is uh, my go. Let's go. One, two. Uh, one, two. You guys going to get eaten alive down there. Uh, Siege Towers. <laughs> Uh, sure, let's roll the one on this guy. Uh, kills him. All right, dispatch is gone. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, uh, then we will uh, attack, I think this one. Yeah, let's attack this one. Yeah, we don't want to hit my base anymore. Uh, so I'll just take this taproot out, getting two more source, going up to seven. And this guy already has an upgrade, so he's good. Uh, there we go. This guy can't move through. Uh, Spires will fire on him. Uh, let's do this one back here. Miss this one up here. Uh, it's one. So magically, this guy will get to bring a Warbriar promoted. He'll flip. Uh, and let's get a few more health here to put this Warbriar up to four health, of course. Uh, now, it will attack my hero, unfortunately. Uh, loses a fortification and a health, but counteracts for two. And my turn. Hmm. Let's bring, let's see, this range on this. One, two, three, four. Can't even get to this thing yet. Maybe I shouldn't have revealed it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because they're not coming down to deal with me yet, but oh well. That might have been bad. Uh, all right, so next is... If I move, I'm just debating moving Osh. Oh, start, can't reach. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually a limited build option. Are we getting a little crazy here? Add another range to this thing. Uh, and that will cost four. Uh, four. So down to three. 
less. No, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, down to three. Okay, uh, so this has more range. Okay, uh, then he will go here, I think. Yeah, I can't even go here to fight this thing. Uh, or it's going to hurt me, and then I'll get smashed. So let's just leave that, I guess. Um, maybe I'll just stay. Yeah, maybe Osh will stay right here. Uh, he'll move there, and then he'll attack this guy, kill him. I'll get a source going up to four. Warbriar's dead. Uh, then Taproot uh, comes back out, a little weak one. And then I get an upgrade. Let's go with a health. And they will get to move. Uh, one. Spires will fire. And it's a one. Kill this guy, get two source up to six. After it's gone. And that is the wave. Wow. Okay. Uh, interesting. So, uh, heroes are there. You know what I forgot? This tower could have been shooting on this guy. Uh, at least on that last one after they moved. Because I'm allowed to attack this guy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, I will take off two health off of it. Uh, that's only fair, I think. So I probably forgot at other turns where I could have been shooting with this thing. Um, and I, oh, I did shoot that one guy that was here, so that's fine. All right, so two health off of Daiwan's good. Uh, all right, so this is on to wave three. Anything else cleanup wise? I don't think so. Let's get the wave up there. All right, so we're going to roll the event die. I'm okay with rolling it now. There's only this one. I'm next to it. I mean, it's not the worst. Uh, so let's see what we get here. A five. And a five is... Place the landmark on all source wells. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's just one. Uh, let's go here. Yep, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, then nine source. Uh, so I'll get... Actually, I'm going to get 12 total because that source drill update. So, or a, 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 a advancement, uh, which will take me up to 18. Right, so is that six? Yes, 18. Uh, these will clear away. All right, market phase. Grove tenders want to purchase a Merc hero, doesn't exist. A Merc minion doesn't exist. Or an Earthscape doesn't exist. So they don't buy anything. Beautiful. Um, they go first, actually. So now I get a chance. And you know what? I'll purchase this Plague Bringer, actually, uh, for two. Go down to 16. Uh, so this is the one with one attack, one fortification. Can take three upgrades soul and has that poison. Uh, so that might be very helpful. Might be very helpful. But either way, we'll throw it over here. Uh, I think, yeah. All right. Uh, so on to the build phase. Important. I'm going to build. I'm going to put this thing into play. Uh, yeah, I'll put it into play. And we'll build it down here, I think. Oh, market should be refilled, I believe. Uh, brick and mortar, splash. Another one, two attack, one range. It actually starts with more upgrades than it can hold at two. Uh, that's an interesting one. So I'll throw that out there. Uh, okay, well, let's go. That's what I say. Try it this way. And I'm going to build a tower right on it right now. Uh, spending six, going down to ten. And we'll do a siege tower so we can start possibly taken out uh whoops oh i don't have enough range 
<laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay, so it just gets the one uh, range and one attack. Uh, that's silly. Oh, well, I guess it'll save me cost on putting uh, upgrades on it, which I'll do right now. Um, so it's got one, two range. If I can give it another attack, another range, it can start shredding through this thing. I need to attack this one first, though. So let's go and spend three on it. Yeah, let's go down to seven. Uh, yeah, let's go down to seven. I'll put an attack on it. It can help me get through this fortification eventually. Also help me better odds and actually making hits every time. Uh, and on this one up here, I can only have four upgrades, so it's maxed out. Damn, I need another range. I can get one off of this, though, eventually. Uh, any more build options? Yeah, I'll spend two. Put a fortification on this one. I'll protect it, keep it around a little longer. Um... Hmm. I think that's it for now. Uh, so we're good. We'll save our five source that we have going forward um, on to the prep phase. So they'll get a, another little uh, army of tap roots plus the Merc that they summoned. Uh, but they don't have one. So it's same as last wave. Beautiful. Uh, so tap root. Uh, put it on the right side here. One, two, three. Other tap root. They're summoning treads this time, actually. So they are a little more dangerous, I think. Let me check what a treed does. Uh, treed. So let's look at treeds right here. Uh, they come out uh, promoted, actually. So they can go on actual forest, uh, so that can make them a little more dangerous. Uh, five health, two attack, three movement. They have ram, and ram says, when attacking an adjacent spire, this unit may remove an attack upgrade from that spire. Even if it's not the bottom upgrade, also retaliation from opposing units cannot deal more than two damage to this unit. Uh, so if we actually look at, uh, where is the, whoops, uh, right here, let's check out Ram uh, in the solo modification of the, to the talent. When this unit attacks a spire, the attack upgrade closes to the bottom, the spire is removed if possible, otherwise it attacks as normal. Uh, retaliation reduction triggers anytime this unit is retaliated against, okay. Okay, cool. All right, so that's what will come out uh, if they uh, summon, like before. So that is bad. Uh, okay, so let's continue on here. I have nine CP. Uh, how am I going to use this? I think Drang needs to come out now. Or Source Siege. I have nine, so I can bring on a source siege that has some range. But should I have upgraded, if I'm gonna do that, should I in the build phase have built the fortress upgrade for those guys? I think you can do that. Yeah, for three. I'm actually gonna do that uh, down to two. So that's the second one on smelter. It's on the same as the, uh, the one that I was using to get the new f towers. So I b will bring that guy out. Uh, promoted, so it's transport, so I have to do another unit with it. Uh, it comes out for six, so I can spend up to three more. I'll just throw a dispatch under it, I guess. Uh, grouped, so it gets five health. And uh, that's all there, I guess. But it's got a four range, so that's going to help. Um, Hit some of these towers and get them going. Three. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get it that close, but that's okay. All right. I think we're good there. I think we're all ready. Nine CP, six plus three, yep. All right, 
let's do it. Uh, did I relook at this? I don't think so. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, who's going first? Grove tenders. So they'll just do their thing. One, two, uh, one, and stay at the base. We're familiar with this. <laughs> Spires will fire though. Let's remember these. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, that's sort of my turn. Never mind. Uh, I got to remember that raise ability. So one, two, three, four. They can shoot anything. So let's hit the first tap root. Actually, nothing. Oh my God, these misses are killing me. Uh, all right. So it can't reach. They won't attack. Uh, they're good. My go. Uh, this thing will come out. Move three spaces. Flying along. And my hunter. Actually, should he move first to get out of the way? Because this. Uh, oh, got siege towers. Got to remember these. All right. Uh, sorry. Start of the turn. Siege towers. I don't want to build anything, I don't think. I don't have a range to hit yet. So actually I can choose it after. So uh, ability raises first. Uh, so two attack dice on this one here. Uh, it hits for three, it just takes away one upgrade. So there's a range back in the pool. We're out of range, but uh, that's great. Uh, making that hit a little less further, but it still hits my hero here. Uh, this one can't reach any spires. One, two, three, four. Can reach a fortress gate, but I, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, okay. So, sorry. Now, that that's my... Those guys fighting first. Limited build options. Now that I can put range on stuff. Well, let's throw a range on this guy. Uh, do I have enough? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I only have um, two source. So, it's going to take a minute. All right, so this guy then, he has one, two, three. He's going to be rolling two attack dice. One, two, three. Can't reach him. Am I okay standing there or not? Hmm. Could step one back. Two, three. Still gonna hit me. So I can stay there, roll two dice, but if it rolls a two and a one, he's dead. So I'm actually gonna have to step back, unfortunately. Uh, let's step back here, though. <laughs> or not, because I'll get hit. Let's just go here and get displaced. So one, two, three. He'll get displaced back. That's fine. And that's out there. Uh, spires, one, two, three, nope, two, three, nope. So this guy's got four range though. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll actually hit here for two. Or one, two, three, four. Can't get anything over there yet. One, two, three, four. Actually, it can actually hit up here. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to take one off. Oh, I have to be adjacent to it, don't I? Never mind. It's got cover. Uh, all right. So I will just take one off this one. And obviously no retaliating from Spires. So yes, we're weakening it. It's beautiful. One, two, three, four. Okay. And this guy can't attack. We won't explore. Uh, there we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. Uh, spires will fire. Uh, so it's only the one here. Let's do it on this one right here, I guess. Um, yeah. So it's a one. So take one away from this guy. Okay. Uh, now they will attack. So this one can attack here, and the other one can attack here, and just like that. Maybe get some range off there. Because he can't reach anything else, so that's that. All right, uh, that's their turn. My go. Uh, one. Two, three, I think. 
one, two, three, four. Can kill this one. Can get rid of this fortification. Oh, sorry, rewind. Rewind, start of turn. Gotta do my siege engines. Or siege towers, siege towers. Uh, so this one will roll. That one can't hit anyone. It's just this one here. Uh, he is. Yeah, he only has, can hit this retall one. Uh, gets rid of the last range on it though. That's nice. Okay. Uh, now the move time happens. I just don't know where I want to end up here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Spires will fire on this guy too, though. One, two, three here. Here I get shot by this one. Yeah, so I want to be here, I think. One, two, three. I'll just do that. I don't want to go on this hex, obviously. <laughs> don't want to wake him up. Uh, but I can actually shoot him from there. This is more important. The towers or a Daiwan. Let's go. I could kill this. Kill this guy, just take him out. Or do I go after this fortification down here and don't get any shots on me yet? I would clear that one out. Uh, if I can get some much needed source to then upgrade this one. Hmm. I'm just going to hit this guy for two. Yeah, let's just take this unit out. Bang. Uh, so I get two source going up to four. Taproot gone. Doesn't summon. Uh, oh, I forgot to move my hero. One. Two, okay, he'll move up. Mm, one, two, three, yeah, he's out of range of these towers. Uh, he'll do an explore, actually. I should have done, I'm doing this kind of the wrong order. So it's Lost Caverns. I'm gonna throw that on there, uh, reveal it, so I can switch. Uh, I don't think I can actually use this, because I read about this earlier, and it's attached on uh, one of these little uh, um, Earthscapes. So I don't think it's, you have to switch it with an adjacent aisle, actually. Let's see here. Secret Passage. Uh, this landmark may be attacked to remove its health chip. Once its health is removed, any hero may move on to this landmark, ignoring terrain restrictions. Locate an unrevealed landmark on an adjacent aisle and swap the two landmark chips along with your hero. So on an adjacent aisle. This swap does not count as part of your hero's movement. Uh, when your hero moves off this landmark, replace one health under it. Ah, uh, okay. So I should be able to use it because there's an aisle adjacent uh, right here. I could swap that. Yeah. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Let me know in the comments below if you, I'm not, but I'm pretty sure. I, I just don't think it works when it, it's trying to switch with something on an aisle uh, or on a Earthscape. But it's an adjacent aisle. Uh, okay. So that's revealed. Uh, he will then attack it actually and just uh, get it ready to uh, do some teleporting next turn. Or should I just leave it and heal up one? No. Oh. Once it's removed, any hero may move on to this landmark. Uh, locate an unrevealed landmark on adjacent aisle. Swap it with my hero. Okay, yeah, I'll just hit it. Who cares? That's good. Uh, so it's ready to use as a teleporter. Uh, so he attacked. He attacked. They're done. Uh, on to these guys. One, two. One, two. Uh, spires will fire. 
So let's shoot this guy here with uh, the siege tower. One, two, yep. Uh, hits for one, takes him down to two. I want him getting down to one. Uh, this one will, oh, it can't reach, can't reach. That's okay. So this one here, range two. Uh, fortress gate, can't reach. Hero, it can defeat, nope. Spire can defeat, nope. Uh, faction minion it can defeat, nope. Uh, next is hero it can damage. No, he's got uh, fortification, can't be damaged. Um, spire it can damage. E nope, it can't get through this fortification. And faction minion it can damage, right here. <laughs> we got there. All right, so then he retaliates back for two, which unfortunately gets this guy flipping over and summoning a Teed with some a treed, sorry, with some ram. Uh, five, it's right here, right? Uh, Should have fired on that guy first. That's uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so now it, uh, he's done. Yep, that was from its counterattack, so they're done. My turn. Let's do some siege towers. Uh, this one can't reach a tower. Uh, but this one here can, so this guy will shoot here, uh, and does three, so it'll get rid of one. Down to one attack left on this first retall. Okay. And then we're going to, uh, do I do a limited build option? I don't think so yet. No spires. I could upgrade this one for four. So I can start hitting this one, which might be pretty helpful actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's throw a range on the bottom of this one. Could take four upgrades total. Uh, limited build option. And let's spend all four source. Done. Okay. Uh, so then I did their shooting already. Now my movement. Uh, let's go. He'll move on to this, which will switch him with um, the face down landmark on the adjacent aisle. Uh, throw a health under this thing and he'll get to move off of it for one. So there's one move left. I think I want to go here. Or here. I think we'll go there. Okay. And then do I attack this guy or do I not? Ugh. Yeah, I think he's fine. All right, then this thing is gonna continue on. One, two, toxic secretion, three. Uh, okay. And then spires will fire. Uh, no spires up here. Uh, this one can't hit. This one, two attack dice, one. All right, so let's roll the two on this guy. Oh, three. That kills him. I should have rolled the other one first. Uh, okay, that's fine. Should have rolled the other one first. So that is gone. This guy comes out. And then he'll get fired on for this spire. Uh, just one attack die. Uh, so it's a one. So he'll lose one. Down to two. So now he could fire... Yeah, let's, um, I mean, I could go after this guy. Well, that's kind of funny to leave that guy when they start coming down after my towers. Because I think as soon as I build one. No, it's once I defeat all three, uh, they start coming down there. Yeah, it's once I beat all three. I think I want this guy to shoot here and finish this tower. Or I 
could take one off this. No, let's just get rid of this tower. Uh, it's gone. Okay, uh, I get two source off of it. Done. Retall. Gone. So one of the towers is down. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is the. Oh, this guy can attack up here. If I do that, I get retaliated on. Uh, I'm down to beatable territory. So I actually won't. He did move, so he doesn't get to hunt, ref, uh, revive with hunt, Hunter. Or survival, sorry. So on to their turn. Uh, this guy will stay, I think. And this guy will move up one, two. Spires will fire. Uh, let's fire on one, two, three. So let's roll two dice on this guy. Yes, got him. No summoning for you, jerk face. Okay, then this one, uh, let's do this one here on this guy. Uh, nothing. And then the air defense, uh, one. Oh, no, can't reach, can't reach, can't reach. Never mind, never mind. Um, so this guy gets away without getting hit. Uh, then he'll attack me for two. I lose a fortification and one health, but I do retaliate for two. Okay. Uh, nice. And that's their turn. What's under this guy again? Oh yeah, little taproot guy. Okay, my go. So start of my turn, let's do some rays. Uh, this guy, can't fire on him. Oh, limited, uh, no, I gotta do the rays first. So this one, one, two, three. Uh, he's gonna fire over here. Uh, one, two, three. Yes, he can reach. So we roll two dice. Hopefully get rid of that fortification underneath. Uh, hits for one. Does not do anything. Uh, that's a waste. Okay. Uh, limited build options. No, I only have two source. Move time. This guy will move one over. Uh, this guy... I feel like he wants to get out of the way of this guy because I'm not in his place to kill him. I could just stay here and heal up one. I don't think that's good. This thing can go one, two, three. can hit me here. If I move out of the way, it's one, two, three. It's on my base. Attack my base for two. But then this tower is hitting it. Oh, five off my base already. I think Osh might have to stand his ground here. He's not gonna move. Uh, Spires will fire on these guys. Uh, on this guy here. So let's roll, uh, I guess the one. One, okay, one goes away, he's one health left. Now I need to roll two big blanks on this one. Yeah, right. Uh, I rolled one, okay, but he still dies. Okay, that's done. Uh, this guy won't do anything, he'll just heal up one with survival. End of my turn. Oh, this fortress portal thing. No, I think I might use that later for uh, getting a research. Yeah. Might be good for that. Okay. Their turn. This guy tries to move, doesn't get anywhere. Um, spires. Uh, this one will fire on. Please hit him. Yes, one. Great. Uh, then he will, Oh, he's going to attack and kill him. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, he'll attack my hero, kill him. Osh is gone. Poor Osh. Uh, then he is done. I have no units left, but that thing will still go. Hmm. Back to my turn. Uh, this tower will fire on the retall down here for two. Gets rid of the fortification to start. Okay. Uh, then there we go. One, two, three. Uh, spires will fire. Uh, for one, he's got one left. 
He'll attack my base for two, going down to three. Gets retaliated on and killed. I get two source, going up to four. Treat is gone. Tap root, little weenie comes out. Should die from this spire next turn, we hope. Uh, okay, start of my turn. Uh, I'm going to do Siege Tower uh, on the retail again. Uh, I got three, so I get sort of one range off of it. Okay. Um, this guy will go attack my base for one, down to two. Uh, then Spires will fire. Please kill him. Done. So I get two swords for that up to six. Taproot's gone. Okay. That's wave three. That ends the wave. No hero, no units, unfortunately. Okay. So next. Oh, I forgot about this thing down here. Could have got the fountain going, maybe kept him alive. Yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb. Might have not lost my hero there. All right. So let's go on to wave three. Or wave four, sorry, wave four. So we're going to block the die now. Yeah. Let's just not roll the event die this round. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna speed things up here. Uh, this is gone. Do I block the event die now or next turn? If I do it now, this could get covered up with a landmark, and that's super bad. I don't want that to happen. So yes, I will block the, the event die now with that achievement I purchased from the Akarian Renown. So that's done. No event die. Uh, 11 source, but I get plus three on that, so that's 14 on top of six. Gets me my full 20 that I can max out on. Okay, uh, 20 source, market phase, nothing happens. Do I want to buy one of these things? I, I forgot I got this plague bringer. I probably should have put that in play. Gonna put it at my gate. <laughs> so dumb. All right, uh, let's do. Do you want to buy another one? Splash. No, I think I'm good because they're going to try to purchase next wave. And if I leave this here, they won't be able to purchase a Merc Hero, Merc Minion, or an Escape. So I'll leave it the way it is. I think. Yes. Yeah, let's just leave it the way it is. Uh, so no purchase. Build phase. Um, yeah, let's get going here. Uh, so we're going to do... Uh, we'll spend six, going down to 14. Let's put a siege engine, or siege tower, sorry, siege tower. One attack, two upgrades, right down here. So now that I've built one there, something about them changing their mark. Uh, initial mark opposing fortress gate. When a brawn spire is constructed where the grove tender outpost spire stood, the grove tender minions will immediately switch the mark to the first for the spire constructed there. Done. So we only got two waves left, guys. We gotta get it going here. I haven't been neglecting this research stuff. I'm working on the towers mainly, but maybe I can get lucky. There's no other hero. So Drang can only do it with this card here. At the end of your turn, during the onslaught phase, return a hero to its fortress. That hero may be deployed again this wave. So can I use her to get up to there? I can do some cute stuff with this in the next aisle. I can switch it with one of these tokens, but then I'm over here and then I would wake this guy up. But I might keep that in mind. I could be flexible there if he gets some shots on him. All right. Uh, so let's set up those guys. Oh, wait, build phase. I might be able to do some more building. Um, let's see, a 14 source. Throw another upgrade under here. I think so. Let's throw another attack under there for four. Uh, down to 10 source. Let's get this one. Let's throw a range on this one for three. Hmm. 
Yeah. Let's do. Might be okay, actually. One, two, three, four spires. Uh, I can't really build anymore. I gotta be careful. I'll just save this plague bringer if they build them if they take down one of my towers, I guess. So if they take this one down, it'd be a good spot to put it there, maybe. So what is it? Taproot, taproot, and a treed combo. Uh, if I put a fortification on here for two, one, two, go down to eight. Uh, that'll stop them from pinging the tower. But maybe before that, do I put on another like range here? Yeah, let's throw another range under it. So first I'll do the range, that's three. So total, that'll take me down to five. And then I'll put two for fortification on the bottom and that finishes that one up. That will allow me to still shoot this guy and possibly one, two, three. No, I would need another range to shoot down here, but that's fine. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll just help me shoot Daiwin and these guys coming, so that's good. Uh, okay. And a range on here for three, maybe? No, let's save our source to build towers down here as fast as possible. I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so taproot, taproot, taproot. Again, <laughs> so annoying. Taproot for three health. Taproot for three health, and they're summoning Vine Heralds this time, which the Vine Heralds just have two range, and they're promoted, so they actually have capture, so I can capture my units, which we'll deal with if that happens. They only attack for one, though, but still the two range is gross. Uh, okay, so Taproot, 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 and a tr two Treads that are both regular, four health, though, only, and they one attack, two move, so not as bad as the other side. They still have Ram, though. So I'll be taking attack upgrades off of towers. So we'll throw the grouping of trees under the bottom. And we'll throw uh, the tap roots on the top. And those are ready there uh, to deploy. Uh, 11 CP. So I'm gonna get my hero for four. Uh, four, uh, sorry, yeah, four. And she has three health in Drang. Uh, and let's get another source siege. Those seem to be powerful. I paid to upgrade them, might as well. They have transport, so I have to put something else underneath it. Uh, so I have 11, so I spent four. This would be six, that'd be 10. I don't have a one cost unit, so I'm kind of screwed. I can't do this guy. Do I do a Forsaken? Try that guy out? I'm not really a fan, I don't think. But it does hit for four. So seven, I don't know. Uh, 11, so hero for four. Aegis, I have the, no, I don't have the promotion for him. Hmm. I need my hero though. I need to collect some, some of those things. Six, my math is right. Yeah, 10, it's only 11 CP. Four. Builder can make it there. An architect can make it down there. That'd be nice. That'd be, oh, that's 12 only. Will they get out there? Hmm. Dispatches. Be another six. Do a dispatch and an Aegis. Yeah, let's do that. Aegis first for three. Dispatch. Uh, hiding behind it. So let's do it that way. Okay, uh, that's my 11 CP. Four, 
three is seven plus another four is 11 and we're ready to go first player this time is the brawnen so let's do our siege towers here that are going to be pelting these ones down here so this one has to attack this one if i want to hit it due to cover so let's uh roll two dice on it ah still don't get the two to get through that fortification on the bottom uh this one will shoot over here uh getting rid of a range nice okay this siege tower uh is good i don't think i'm gonna fire on their base doesn't have enough range to get down here that's fine uh okay so one two one and let me just check landmark talent secret passage yeah it's just gonna be attacked to remove the health chip which is kind of cool uh okay so she's gonna just move out here uh then spires none to fire on me right 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 yep uh okay so he will attack here just get rid of this so the secret passage is kind of like ready to go i guess um and that is my turn nothing really to attack there okay tap roots will go one and the rest are kind of stuck here for now uh spires will fire so one two three or i could shoot on this dude let's just make sure my mark is correct i don't think my guys changed their mark uh the marks the furthest spire of the growth tender outpost and yeah it doesn't change to their gate until i've destroyed all three which will hopefully be this round and then next round they'll start going to their gate so for now let's just make sure things don't get too hairy let's roll on the first tap root there blank wow okay that's it for spires firing uh they don't have any range to attack anything so on to my turn let's do some siege towers firing down here let's uh try this one on this shrubbery hits for two nice gets rid of the fortification beautiful now we start destroying it uh so this one will fire on this retail and gets rid of all of its range it only has an attack left uh, which is sweet and that siege tower not gonna fire on the gate all right move time one uh two one two uh one two okay uh not enough range for this shrubbery to shoot so i don't have to worry about that no spires will fire on my guys right now um this guy's actually going to should i flip it yeah let's get rid of this this way i'll flip this one okay uh so the source guys are so the start of each round uh it'll heal two health anything adjacent to it uh, and then it's gone at the end of the wave all right if she tries to go up here one two she could fire that by this thing she has to be adjacent to even hurt it it's like this one has cover it just makes it so hard uh, i'll probably lose my hero so let's she'll just work i guess getting down here okay uh so nothing to attack right yeah so they're good uh so their turn one two one two uh one two and one spires will fire Mm. just go on the first one here one perfect tap root going all right uh then this one can't fire uh so this one can't one two can't reach anything but it, it can't hit this thing because it's got the fortification on the bottom so it doesn't do anything doesn't do anything uh can't attack so we're good there okay my go one two one two 
Oh, forgot to do my siege towers. Let me do those. Uh, so this one hitting the shrubbery next to it. Oh, it's wrong die. Rolling two. Uh, got one. Perfect. Gets rid of a range. This one will fire over here on the retail. Perfect. Gets rid of its uh, tower completely. Two source. Up to seven. Great. Retail gone. Okay, that's those done. This one can't reach any spires. So let's go. All right, so they moved already. Uh, she will move down here. Okay. Let's go. Um, I need to switch their mark to down here fast. So spires, uh, one, two. This one doesn't have range. This one doesn't have range. So they've all moved. Uh, let's do attacks. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll hit this guy uh, who goes to one health. I don't think it retaliates. I think right away it does the summon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, flips over, gets a Vine Herald. So let's throw four health underneath it. And it's got two range and capture. So capture says, um, when this unit defeats a minion, capture that minion from its faction, place it beside their fortress. Its faction may not return that minion to its barracks until it deals damage to the fortress gate. And is that the same? Yeah, it doesn't say there's any adjustments to it. So that's fine. Okay, so that thing's out. And no attack here. We're good. They'll go. Uh, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, so. Uh, spires will fire. think we will throw, let's throw, I can only fire with this one, just don't know who to hit here, I think the front guy, Yeah, so hold on. They will attack. These guys can't damage a spire. But they can damage a hero. And then a spire. Hero, spire, faction, minion. All right, so let's go. We'll roll on the Vine Herald, I think. Miss. Oh, this is killing me. Killing me, killing me, killing me. All right. Uh, now they'll attack. So this guy. Hero first. Uh, or do I? Yeah, hero. Retaliate. Or do I want to do it another way? Yeah, let's just retaliate on this one. Okay, uh, then this guy will attack the hero and no retaliate. And this guy will attack this and the dispatch will fire back. And that is that. Okay, start of my turn. These guys are adjacent here, so they're gonna heal up too. Uh, that's one ability that's going to happen. The other ability is the raise. Down here, I'm going to roll two dice on this shrubbery. Uh, hits for three. Gets rid of all the range off it. Needs two more chips gone, and then I can build there. Uh, let's do limited build option. I think I can. Yep. 
Uh, so I'll spend down to one. And I will build a siege tower, which I should have done earlier. And just started whacking this thing faster. Uh, whoops, wrong upgrades. Okay, that's done. Because I need them to switch their mark. And that should happen shortly. Once the last one is defeated. Yeah. Uh, oh. When a Brawn Inspire is constructed. I did that already. So their mark is actually down this way. But that's fine. Yeah, they haven't really gone towards the base, just kind of like a lateral movement. So that's fine. That's fine. We're good. We'll we'll continue them down this way. I may have goofed that up. That's okay. All right. I thought it was as soon as it's busted. No, it's the brawn and mark that changes after all three of these are broken. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So my go here, these fired. That I built this. Limited build option. Move time. Uh One, two, loses one from toxic secretion. Uh, one, two, loses one from toxic secretion. <laughs> so stupid. I was dumb to lift to, to reveal that. Uh, okay, this thing has no range, so no spires will fire down there. Uh, but we do need to move my hero though. I don't know what we're gonna do about her. Just continue on. One. Two, okay, she'll go there. Uh, no spires to fire, because this one can't reach. That one can't reach. So now we'll attack. Uh, this guy doesn't get to attack anyone. This one can attack here. Yeah, he'll attack there. She will attack one, two, He'll counterattack. This one will counterattack. Hmm. Uh, man. Let's hit this guy. Yeah, let's hit that guy. He'll counterattack my hero for one. It's unfortunate. She needs an upgrade. Uh, okay, that's their attacks. My turn's done. They'll go. Uh, and they're coming down here, actually. Oh, I messed that up. I don't want her down here. They're just going to run at her. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, let's undo. Let's undo. She shouldn't have moved down there. I forgot, they're switching their, their path down here. Uh, so I think she was like here. One, two, and then she'll just rain shot on this guy who will counterattack her. That's better. Uh, okay, they will go. So this guy, these two are tied for being the lead in minion. So let's actually just move this guy. One, two, one, one, one. Spires will fire. Do we have someone that are reaching? One, two, three. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, all these are kind of in a spot to shoot. All right. So this one, one, two, three. This one can hit this guy for sure. So let's do that. Roll one attack die. Get some for one. Okay. Um, one, two, three. One, two, 
two, three. Let's roll uh, one, two, three. Let's roll two attack dice on this one. Uh, so it's three. So that does kill this taproot. Sweet. Uh, so I get two source. Going up to three. Uh, okay. Let's do one, two, three. I want to kill this guy so he doesn't heal up from the fountain next round. One, two, three. Yeah. I think the fountain, does it affect anybody or just me? I don't know. I think it's anybody. Uh, all adjacent units may recover two health at the start of each new round. Yeah. So let's try to kill this guy. One, two, three. Yeah, let's roll two dice on him. Uh, it's a three. Uh, I wish I went after that tap root. <laughs> uh, so I get one source. Going up to four. Vine Herald, gone. Little weak tap root is here. And he won't get to heal up because he's already had his max health of one anyway. Uh, this Spire could finish him off here. Yeah, let's try that. Let's just roll one die on. Ooh, or one die on this guy. Yeah, let's roll one die on uh, the ram from this siege tower for one. Beautiful. Let's weaken him up so when he comes around the corner, I can hopefully hurt him. Okay, uh, then they will attack. So this guy at two range. Um, hero it can damage. No. Spire it can damage. No. No. And faction minion it can damage. So I can do this guy right here. Uh, and he'll hit him. Then he'll retaliate, killing him. Uh, and getting me two more source up to six. Great number to be at. This one. Um, can't damage the tower. Can't actually hit anything else. So that's that. Uh, then I think they're done. My turn, let's do some siege towers firing on this thing. Uh, so let's do this one for two die on the shrubbery. Boom, got rid of one attack, there's one left. Let's do one from here. Yes, got it, one. This tower's done, one source, up to seven. Shrubbery out. So now my minions are going towards the fortress gate actually. Uh, so this is open. Okay, so that's open. Um, Build option. Let's just do the limited build option. Get a build on there. And we will do uh, one, two, three, four. Do I just do the plague bringer instead of spending a whole bunch of money? Or does this does this work better up here somewhere? Well, let's just do this. Let's just build a tower I have as my limited build option. <laughs> Uh, throw fortification and attack upgrade down here. Oh, or does it have to be brawn in towers? Does it have to be brawn in spires? Yeah, three brawn in spires. I don't know if this is considered a brawn in spire. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below if you know. That'd be great. But uh, maybe I can't build that there. So I'll just spend the source. Uh, let's do a Lance Launcher for six, going down to one. That's one attack, one range. Okay. Uh, so we'll just keep this one here, I guess, for now. Okay. Um, so that's limited build options. Done for this wave. On to my turn. Uh, so these guys are now going to switch direction up to here. One, two, toxic secretion, uh, two, down to one health left. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, okay. And then uh, my hero, one, two, she'll come down here. Um, I think that's okay.
think that's okay. Uh, let's go. Hmm. Could do attack here, it'll flip him over. And then another Vine Herald will come out. Four health. Uh huh. Or can I do a couple attacks on this ram and hope to kill him. Yeah, let's attack the ram with this guy. Or the treed. And she will attack. Uh not attack, I guess. Could just leave that guy there. So yes, yeah, so let's attack him, sure. Cause what else? Get lucky and get a two die roll. Nope. Yeah, let's hit him. He'll do his flip thing. Uh, let's get another Vine Herald. Get a couple more health here. Taproot will go underneath. Promoted Vine Herald, oh, make it a mess. All right, uh, so that is that. There we go. Uh, they wanna come down this way to my towers, but they'll just stay there. I'm not gonna move this guy. I don't think. Yeah, I don't need that ram getting up near my tower. <laughs> so they're done moving, uh, spires will fire. I wish this one could reach. This one's kind of useless now. Um, so you can get that poison tower put here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, these towers are all gonna stick around. It's annoying. There's no way I can deconstruct a tower that I know of. Uh, okay, so they moved, spires will fire. So I'm gonna roll one attack die here. I do it on the boss. No, let's do it on the ram. Uh, one. Gone. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three. Nope. One, two, three. Nope. These towers can't reach. One, two, three. Nope. That's my guys. Uh, okay, so this guy will attack. This guy can't do nothing. So this guy's going to do two range attack. Uh, I guess it's a minion he can defeat. So it will be the dispatch. So dispatch, fortunately, didn't get to survive to drink from the fountain. Uh, and that guy can't attack. So they're done. Oh, he'll capture the dispatch, actually. Uh, so we'll just throw him by their fortress gate until I can damage their gate to get that guy back. All right, so now the start of my turn. This guy will heal up two, thanks to the fountain. She will heal up one, thanks to the fountain. Okay, this guy will, do I put the hero and do some displacement? I think so. Yeah, so she'll move here. Then he wants to go towards the fortress gate, so he'll displace her, okay. And, oops, I forgot to fire these at the beginning. Doesn't matter. All right. So that's my move. Uh, attack time. She will attack this thing. I think. Yeah, because these guys can't even hit this armored guy. It's great. That's perfect, I think, yeah. So she'll just attack this uh, thorax down here. And hopefully get herself some freaking upgrades. Uh, okay, that is, uh, oh, this guy will attack for two. Um, yeah, he'll hit for two here and get retaliated on for one, going down to two health. Okay. Um, 
their turn. Don't need to do any raise. Uh, they won't move. I'll keep them there. Uh, Spires will fire. One, two, three. These can't hit anybody. Uh, I'm actually going to fire this one. Let's do... One, two, three. I'm going to fire on their boss here uh, for one. See, he goes, Drywind goes down to four health. Um, and that's that. Uh, then they will attack. So this guy, I think he'll go after the hero. Yes. She will retaliate back for one. And the ram teed, treed guy in the back can't attack. So that is that. Uh, my turn. Uh, the heal up off the fountain. <laughs> and he'll heal up. So I got a good little block going here, I think. I hope I'm not doing anything wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I am. Uh, so I'm not going to move him. He wants to go this way. I mean, I could do lateral move, but I like what's happening here. And yeah. Uh, she will actually go, do I go now? Yeah, she'll come down here. One, two, uh, toxic secretion takes away a health off her. She will, after moving, um, I think that's how it works. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, hero carrying research before moving. A friendly hero may pick up a piece of research before moving. Okay. So we can't do it yet. She's going to attack for two on this thing. Or one. Sorry, one. Uh, no spires of fire yet. Uh, so this guy will just attack here. Killing this guy who won't retaliate. And then the little taproot underneath comes out. Okay. Um, that is my go. There go. This guy will stay here. This guy will stay here. Uh, let's fire. Let's fire. Oh, and die one, I guess. Uh, take away one. Okay. Uh, then I will. Uh, no healing happening. This guy is not going to move. She will pick up this research. And. She will go hmm. Hmm. I don't want her to die. I can only hope that the spire takes him out if I move up too close because his two range will try to kill her. So I think she will just stay where she is. Hmm. Although she could attack this guy, but I want to get rid of this too. Yeah, she'll stay here. Uh, and then she'll, so they're done move. No spires of fire. She'll fire on this thorax to kill it. Uh, I'll get five source up to six. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thorax is gone. She finally takes an upgrade. Let's get some attack going, girl. All right. She hits for two now. Done my turn. They will go. We'll keep them there. Uh, spires will fire. So let's fire on. I think I want to hit die win. One more time. Or do I take out that ram? Yeah, let's go after the ram. For two. Kills the ram. Two source. Up to nine. Oh no, sorry, eight. I had that six, I think. Um, treed. Gone. Uh, okay. Uh, new treed underneath the grouped unit is now active. Four health. Okay, now the attack. Uh, this guy can't damage this, can't damage this, so he's just. Does it even attack anything? All right. 
An AI unit with multiple targets will select a target from the following priority order. An opposing fortress gate, an opposing unit slash pirate can defeat, an opposing unit spire can damage, any other unit opposing spire. Okay. Even if it can't damage it, that helps. All right, that works. Uh, so he will hit here and just get retaliated on. That's fine. Armored blocks. Uh, two source up to 10. Taproot's gone. All right. That's done. Start of my turn. Uh, nothing to hit with my siege towers. So move. She will move one, two. And he's going to move up one. And activates Diwin. Diwin's in play now. Awesome. This is going to be cool, I'm sure. He's only attacking for two at range two. Once he starts killing guys, he'll start getting more upgrades. All right. So. Uh, they're good. Let's do attack. She doesn't have the range to attack. Actually, if I took a range instead... I forgot she can take range. I always forget that. Uh, Drain can take range. I'm going to put a range on her, actually. More fun. Uh, one, two, three. So she can reach this treed. So let's do that. Let's attack there. Take away one. No retaliate, obviously. Uh, this guy will hit the treed for two and get retaliated on for one. Beautiful. And that ends my turn. Uh, they will go. This guy can't move. This guy, he's range of two. Goes to the nearest unit. One, two. Uh, what can he go on for us? So he has to go around. One, two, three, four. It's this guy. So just move here. He's within two range. To shoot on him. Uh, and this guy doesn't move. So Spires will fire though. And let's fire on Drang, I think. Or Diwin, sorry. Diwin. Do I... Or do I try to take out the tree? I mean, he's not going to hit this guy as he's armored. So maybe I weaken this guy some more. Uh, yeah, hit him for one. Okay. Uh, next, they will attack. Uh, so this guy, one, two. He's only two range. He'll fire on this guy. Uh, hits through. One gets through. No retaliate. This guy hits. Uh, but none gets through because I'm armored. Start of my turn. Fountain is going to help out my hero. Heal up to three. Uh, she'll move one. And I'll fire on Diwin. Or sorry, he should just hit Tywin. Uh, take away one. Okay, he's at one health left. Okay, uh, that's that. This guy will attack the treed. Doesn't retaliate. So that's gone. Uh, I get two source off that, going up to 12. Okay. There we go. Uh, this guy doesn't need to move. He's still within range. Of this guy. So Spires will fire though. Crap. Might have to use this. Mm. Yeah, maybe I use this at the end of this turn so I can get her off the board and return one of these. Because if he dies right now. Oh no, she has time still because this guy will keep going, right? If he dies, they don't have units. Oh, she gets frozen, right? Campfire mode. Ah! All right. I'll use this at the end of the turn. Uh, my previous turn there. Sorry. Um, to pop this. Uh, return a hero to his fortress. So she'll go. Uh, drop off the research. And she'll just chill there till. Oh, she has to deploy this again this wave. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. So that's gone. Okay. Uh, so that was that. So their turn. He doesn't need to move. We were talking. Um, right. So yeah, he'll fire. Oh no, spiral fire. Probably take him out. Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, yep. Takes him out. 
So that's gone. Attack upgrade gone. Uh, research drops there. And we get two. Source going up to 14 for killing Diamond. He's dead. Sweet. Uh, but he's not objective. <laughs> we've got the spires built. We've cleared the ways. So we got two objectives done. It's all about the research now in this final wave. Uh, after this, we're still not done. So they are done. Um, start of my turn. Do I want to start pelting their fortress? I don't think so. So one, two. Spires, no. Uh, oh yeah, don't forget, she can come out. Uh, this wave. Huh. There's nothing to keep me alive going after this one. Uh, so she'll just come out here, I guess. Try to get this one. I won't be able to get this round though. And then I won't be able to get a hero. So I can't get all the research. Uh, it's impossible. Impossible. Uh, so they're done. This guy will move one, two on my next turn. Uh, let's do one, two. Yeah, he'll just attack the fortress gate, I guess. Going down to eight. Get retaliated on. And the Aegis is gone. And that ends that wave. All right. On to wave five here. Uh, so now we're going to roll the event die. Oh, this is gone. Source Geyser's gone at the end of the wave. Uh, so are my limited build options. Uh, four. Four was... Uh, what was four? Add an attack upgrade to Diwin. <laughs> Screw you, Diwin. He doesn't get anything. All right, awesome. Uh, if Dragon's deployed already this wave, she receives one range upgrade, ignoring upgrade restrictions. Yeah, but of course she'll lose it when she gets promoted. That's kind of annoying. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Hmm. All right, 13 source, but I actually get 16, but I'll just max out at 20 because I'm already at 14, so that's unfortunate. A lot extra source for nothing. <coughs> All right. So, Grove Tenders want to purchase, nothing to purchase. Uh, I already have one, two, three, four, five, six towers built, so I can't build anymore. I already have one sitting here I can't even use. If I would have saved this, she would still have, I'm trying to think if it's even possible to get this last objective. If she kept that, and I don't know where she was, she would have been close, I can check. Uh, she would have been on her way back. Oh, but then she leaves and she's gone. So I'd have to use this. She comes back. Yeah, it's impossible. I'm dumb. All right. And I don't have another hero to bring out. Uh, okay, that's fine. I just will get two right now. That's fine. Okay, so assuming I can survive and none of these get destroyed, I still have to have that happen or destroy their gate. So I will just say screw the rest of the renown unless it carries over, or the research, unless it carries over. No, no, it does not carry over. There's no wrap up. All right, we're good. All right, forget, forget the uh, the tokens. Forget the tokens. Uh, all right. Okay, so they don't purchase anything. I don't think I want to purchase anything. So we're good. On to build phase. What are we building? What are we building? Uh, Lance build. Uh, what do we got here? Let's check our sheets of fun. Could do the Aegis minions can come out on their promoted side. That might be nice. And architects. No, what am I? I want to get this source siege out now that I have enough. Uh, 13 source and get one of these guys out. Get the Aegis. But they, they have no spires to really defeat. Hmm. Let's just go after the gate, I guess. Third. 
Can I group the Forsaken? Can I group a Forsaken? Nope. <laughs> that would have been fun. Throw it under the Source Siege. Uh, I might just promote the Aegis. Because they hit kind of hard. Or Architect. No, only has for two. Yeah, let's do the level up on the Aegis. Uh, so that is the assembly level one here. So they come out on their promoted side. Let's flip them. Okay. Um, I think that's all. Well, am I going to put a Battleborn? Dispatch. Uh, so that was five going on to 15. If I upgrade the dispatch, they hit a little better and they got splash. And that might help since what's coming on wave five is two group teed, some tap roots, grizzled oak, and there's summoning warbriars that are promoted. There's no merc that they purchased. So I just need to defeat their units. Um, I'm allowed to spend 13 CP, six. Nine. Plus four. Yep. Yeah. Uh, dispatch. I could spend eight more to promote the dispatch. I could also spend a little more on tower upgrades. Let's actually do that. So let's just leave the dispatch normal. Uh, we'll do a source siege. Uh, let's do that. Let's do source siege. Uh, group to the dispatch, getting five health. And the source siege is promoted since I bought the second level of smelter earlier. Or do I hide an Aegis under there? Uh, I think the Aegis can roll on their own. Uh, and they are promoted, so I can make the move at one very slow. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the Aegis in front uh, and slow down this transport. Or try. Uh, uh, Source Siege, Aegis promoted with Assault and Armored. Yeah. I mean, the Assault doesn't really matter because they don't have any things there. Maybe shouldn't have wasted that five on that. Oh, they just move slower. That's the key. Yeah, let's leave it on. Let's see if movement slower actually helps us here. Uh, also, I'm going to put a range upgrade on this thing, I think. One, two. No, I'd have to put two on it. Uh, no, let's put... Let's give an attack to this one for uh, four, going down to 11. Throw an attack upgrade on the bottom of the siege tower. On this air defense tower, we will spend three. One, two, three, down to eight. Uh, let's put another attack on it, and then we'll spend four more, going down to four, and we'll give it some more range, taking all the last range chips. So we put all our money in these towers down here, hoping they can deal with all the crap coming down to destroy them. I think we're okay, though. All right, so let's go... Back to what's at hand here. Uh, so I got my CPL set up. Their command points, let's see here. Uh, tree and tree, both promoted. Grouped together. So five health, moving for three, hitting for two. And can go on forest. I probably forgot that earlier. Hopefully that didn't make a difference. I don't think so, because it would have, there's rocks there, but maybe down here. Uh, okay, so tree. Then we need tap roots next in the pile. Uh, regular tap root, regular tap root. Oh, and another regular tap root. Why not? All three. <laughs> All right. And then a grouped, we need a grizzled oak. Oh, this guy is a big, uh, not promoted. Six health, two attack, move for one. That's all he's doing. No keywords, just a big slow dude. Uh, and he's got an uh, ogre growth underneath him. Uh, which is rooted, which basically helps him take down towers faster because he doesn't move when he's beside them. 
uh, the spires. So he'll go group underneath. We'll throw two there. Uh, and I get him up to six, yes. And then no Merc to summon. So we're gonna put him first, the Grizzled Oak. Then the tap roots. We have this gross setup here. And the treads grouped on top, ready to go. Hopefully I don't knock that over. <laughs> All right, we're good. Well, let's do this. Who's first? Grove Tenders, they're first. Uh, so this guy up front moving for three. They're going a little faster this time. One, two, three. Uh, one, two. One, two. And the rest will chill. Spires shall fire. One, two, three. If I can stop them from summoning Warbriars, that'd be amazing because those are going to hurt my tower is good if they get down there and they move decent speed hmm. it also impale my hero which isn't great so let's just hit I'll go after the tree to actually soften him up he's gonna come down and take the attack of this tower I think yeah let's roll on the tree one okay yeah, they're going to be trouble. Uh, okay. That is them. Two range. Not attacking anything. Okay. My go. Uh, hero wants to move first. No, I don't think so. It doesn't matter. Uh, this guy will move just one. The next guy doesn't come off. Do I do some secret passage stuff? Maybe. I might use it to get up to this after to uh, do some sneaky attacking on their base. But in the meantime, so Ram's going to move for three down to here. I have range of three, four. I have four range. One, two, three, four. Hmm. If I go there, one, two, three, four. If I go there, one, two, three, four. So yeah, she's okay. She's gonna chill down here. She'll come down here and kind of help the towers out, stay in the forest here. Um, oh, but actually this tree wants to go this way. He's actually gonna go there. Maybe she'll just step back here. Okay. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. I can't reach anything. I think I might be okay with that. One, two, three. It comes down to here. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So no attacks. End my turn. They'll go. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one. <laughs> Big bear. All right. Spires will fire. One, uh, let's see what can reach down here. One, two, three, nope. One, two, three, nope. One, two, three. Okay, so this siege tower is going to roll two dice on the treed. This is actually what the treed's going after because it's the furthest, I think. Or no, this one. This one's the furthest mark, right? For the treed, at least, because he, he can come either way. So it is this one, pretty sure. Or no, it's this one, right? One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. It's one of these two. Whatever. Furthest from their gate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's really this one, I think, but whatever. He is gonna come down this way. So we'll shoot two on the tree. Uh hits for two. No counterattack, of course. Uh then this one. One, two, three. Uh yep, it'll roll two on him. Perfect, kills him. Two source, up to six. Uh, he's gone. Next one comes out underneath for five. Okay, uh, this fire will just fire on the next taproot, actually. Uh, hits for one. <laughs> T 
Takes two L1 health off, down to two. Won't be summoning yet. All right, this guy will attack here. He's going to take off the uh, lowest, how does it read? Ram, when this unit attacks the spire, the attack upgrade close to the bottom of the spire is removed if possible, otherwise attack is normal. Oh, when it gets retaliated on, this thing only takes two back also. I don't think that's mattered though. So attack upgrade gone, unfortunately. So this thing can't even attack anymore. Also, it should be on this side. All right, let's use tower, right? Uh, okay. Mm hmm. And oh, this guy can attack. Oh, doesn't hit it though. Doesn't hit it. Yeah, because it's got the fortification on the bottom. Sweet. Okay, my go. Um, uh, limited build option. I don't think so. I'm okay with this tower actually just sitting here, I think. Yeah, I'll save the source to do build options on these if I'm gonna jam. Uh, okay, so let's go one, 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 two, three, four. This uh, source siege in the back here actually can reach this treed, which is nice. Uh, does she need to move? She can hit there. Hmm. She's having a hard time getting promoted. I should have taken that attack, I guess. I, you know, the range coming and everything uh, would have been nice. Okay, so she will said he's gonna come down this way probably, or I can go this way. Yeah, we'll probably go this way. No, it'd be this way. Yeah, it'd be this way, shortest way to whichever one of these two or whatever. Uh, okay. So she will just stay, she'll fire on him. Gets her to one. Uh, okay, no retaliate. Uh, this guy will fire on him, two, no retaliate. That ends my turn. They're going to go one, two. I don't know. He's good there, I guess. Uh, then one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Spires will fire. Uh, let's shoot on this guy with this one down here. The two. Uh, that kills him. Two source. Up to eight. Treat is gone. Okay. Next. Uh, so that was this one. Uh, this Lance Launcher here. One, two, three. Not enough. One, two, three. So this one can fire on the tap root for two dice. Hopefully we can take it out. Has two health left. Yes, it gets it. So tap root gone. Uh, go up to ten. Beautiful. Uh, all right. So let's do... Uh, this one, one, two, three, can't reach. And this one can't fire, it's neutered. Uh, so that's that. They will attack. This guy can't hurt here, can't reach here, can't reach anything. They're good. This guy doesn't attack anything. My go. All right, so moving for one, moving for one. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, she doesn't need to move, I don't think. So she'll stay. Uh, spires, nope. And this guy doesn't attack. One, two, three, four. He is going to... Mm, she should hit first. She'll hit this one. He will finish it off for two. Fortunately, she doesn't get <laughs> upgrade again. But we get the taproot off without hiring anybody. Summoning uh, goes up to 12. Uh, and that is my turn. They'll go. Uh, one, two, one. And then spires. One, two, three. Okay, well, either way, we're rolling two dice on. So we'll do this far one here. Two. And we get a four. Wow, that never happens. 
That never happened. So let's kill this taproot. Beautiful. Uh, two source up to 14. Just the grizzled oak. Doesn't attack. I'll go. Uh, it moves so slow. I might as well. This guy's going to go here. This guy will go here. She will move here. I don't even think she needs to move that far. Yeah, she'll just stay here. Be safe. Okay. Um, spires, nope. Then we'll attack. One, two, three, four. He'll hit for two, the Sword Siege. She will hit for one. We have this under control here. They'll go. Move one. No spires to fire. Nobody to attack. I'll go. Move one. Move one. Doesn't matter. Uh, spires, nope. Uh, this guy will hit for two. She will hit for two. Killing the Grizzled Oak. And bringing in an Ogre Growth. Five health. But she'll go to take an upgrade. She'll flip. Lose all her awesome upgrades, which is stupid. Uh, and then she now has three range and spire shot, which she was better off the way she was. <laughs> but uh, that's how it happens sometimes, right? Uh, okay. And then this guy will now attack for two. And he'll get retaliated on for two, going down to one health. All right. There we go. This guy can't move. Uh, stay there. No spires to fire. He'll just finish off this Aegis. And then I will go. This guy will move up here. She doesn't need to move. Oh, one, two, three. Nope, she doesn't need to move. So let's do attack of two. Oh, she can't even take a promotion anyway. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, do I move her? Yeah, let's move her. Let's put her on this tower. It's not doing anything anyway. She gets four range now. It's sort of spire shot ability is she can go on a tower. Makes the tower inactive, the spire. And now she gets an extra range out of it. So with that range. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this guy will fire on the base. Taking away six, or down to six. Take one back. She will fire. One, two, three, four on it. Take it down to five. She'll lose one from the retaliation. Okay, uh, that's my go. This guy will go. Uh, did I forget his attack? What is happening here? Yeah, I forgot his go there. Or was it on the retaliate that he flipped? Oh, I'm losing it. I don't think it matters too much. Was it on the retaliate? No, because this guy just lost his first health. I think he should have two more gone. And then should have retaliated on this guy, I think. I think. I may have forgot that, unless he just moved in. Oh no, the Aegis, the Aegis took the hit, right? Yeah, we're doing it right, we're doing it right, we're doing it right, let's put that back. Let's put that back. Yeah, I think it was the Aegis that took the hit from this guy. All right, uh, so he's four under him. So now this guy will go, he'll attack for two, and then do basically what I was just doing. Duh. Okay, retaliate from the transport, the source siege. Now on my turn, five left on the base. Can try it. I guess I'm gonna take this guy out first out of the way. Uh, so let's just, doesn't really matter. Yeah, it kind of does. Uh, he, she will shoot, Drang will take out the ogre growth. Uh, getting three source, going to 17. Ogre growth gone. Uh, she can't take any upgrades. Uh, then this guy will attack for two on the base, putting it down to three. Uh, I take a retaliate of one. I think my hero's frozen now that their guys are gone. Yeah. She's camp fired. 
Uh, then this guy will go. I don't think. Oh, yeah, I got a dispatch hiding under there. Uh, one, two, three. Spires. One, two, three. Not enough range. Um, this thing will fire on the base for two. Take it down to one. Uh, I will lose the source siege. And a dispatch will come out of nowhere. Jumping off of it as it blows up. And that was on the retaliate. All right. Now they'll go. Nothing to do, right? My heroes in camp farm mode. This guy will just move up. Shoot the base for the final one. Boom. And get retaliated on. I don't know. I think it ends right away. That's it. Boom. Made it to end. Destroyed the base. It doesn't really matter. It would end it anyway. Uh, but all my towers are good. I built them all up. That worked out. Uh, anything to carry forward here? No, the next one is chapter three here. So let's check here for objectives. Defeated the three Grove Tender outposts, done. Construct three Brawn Inspires, done. They survived to the end of wave five. That's a typo in there, remember? FAQ. And then collect all pieces of research from the Brawn Fortress. Pfft. Maybe if I had two heroes, maybe if there's a hero in the market, maybe I could have done it. Uh, getting that relic was super helpful. I mean, that could have, if I did it earlier, smartly with Osh getting one and then jumping back would have maybe helped. But I just felt it was too risky going up here with this one, just rolling two attack dice. I think it would have wiped out a hero. Uh, and I can't hit it because it's cover, so I have to be adjacent. How do you guys deal with this one? Did anyone else get that research up there? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious. Um, but yeah, this is uh, scenario two of the Brawn Incomplete. I will be playing scenario three, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. If you'd like to donate to the channel to help, help us here grow, uh, you can do so. There's a link below to Patreon. Thank you to everyone that supports us on Patreon. Much appreciated. Appreciated, sorry. Thank you to Chip Theory Games for providing this game. Much appreciated. And yeah, also check out our Too Many Bones playthroughs if you guys like Chip Theory Game stuff. Uh, it's at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. Uh, there's playlists there of our playthroughs um, and check that out. And we got more Cloud Spire to come. So stick around. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.